Whereas there's been a tremendous improvement in solar uptake in Uganda over the last decade, a better tax regime is necessary for further gains, argues Ali Balunywa, the managing director of Village Power Uganda. With more than 75% of Uganda's households off the power grid, solar solution is seen as critical in providing clean and reliable energy, especially for the rural populace. Uganda, as per population of the last census that was taken, we have close to about 8 million households. Out of 8 million households, only about uh, 2.8 million households have grid. So you have a 6. Point, uh, about 6.4, 6.3 million households that are not currently on grid. That's our customer. Being a fairly new sector in Uganda, the solar industry currently faces numerous challenges that impede on its uptake. This ranges from public perception, quality of products in the market, as well as regulation. We still have a poor perception by loads of people in terms of power or mm -hmm. in terms of solar, especially coming from people who have experienced solar and either being sold a wrong kit yes. or not been given the right payment plan or not been given the right solar system for your use. There's still a challenge in terms of um, uh, apprehending people bring poor quality uh, products on the market. So you, you can find that today the consumer can go into the market and find a solar kit that is not certified or that is not of the highest standard. And I think the, the government and the rest of the other organizations are still having that challenge, okay. even if there are some efforts that are, are currently going in it. Solar products are not cheap, but over time, the customers can recoup their investment, says Balunua. He therefore urges the society to look at solar as an investment. And we also continue to expand in the agriculture sector, where we want to actually empower people, our farmers, for example, your poultry farmer, uh, who can be able to have light because... Uh, it's one of the biggest costs that we feel they have. There is opportunity, well as there's been improvement, there is opportunity for the regime to, the tax regime to become better uh, so that the solar kits can become cheaper. Because when you tax a solar provider, that tax will be passed over to the consumer, hence the higher price. Currently, Village Power is operating in 14 Village Power centers in the country. However, the plan is to expand their services further in order to empower at least 5 million people in the next five years. Dennis Igor and Robin Yoso for UBC News.